Welcome one more time to Cooking with Gloria. Today I want to present to you a hibiscus drink, a Mexican traditional agua fresca, as we call it, agua de Jamaica con fresas. This drink is perfect for this weather. It's a hibiscus and strawberry drink. As you know, every time I make a fresh water, I try to give you two options. And today it's going to be a hibiscus fresh water and a hibiscus and strawberries fresh water. I hope you guys love this recipe because this is a very delicious and refreshing drink. Perfect for this summer weather and great for your body. Let's get started. But first things first, I have my apron on, my hands are clean, and I'm ready to show you my recipe. my ingredients sugar strawberries hibiscus flour and water and I can't wait to start and show you how to prepare this delicious agua fresca I am going to start by first doing my simple syrups I'm gonna add in a saucepan one cup of sugar granulated sugar and one cup of water We are going to take it to the stove and dissolve this sugar. I'll see you over there. I turned my stove on in low heat. As you could see the sugar, you could see the sugar, it's kind of cloudy. It's going to be here for at least two to three minutes until the sugar has dissolved completely. But I will show you that step. When the sugar has completely dissolved, the water turns a little yellow. That's when we know that it's completely dissolved. We're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna remove it so that it cools down. And we continue with our recipe. To make this agua fresca, you're going to need two cups of the hibiscus flour. It comes dry. And it's a, a great, great drink, and it's very good for your body. What I like to do is a night before preparing this drink, I like to put it in water, put it in the refrigerator, and leave it there overnight. Because if you try to do it the same day, the water will not get that intensive color and flavor. A lot of people like to boil it put it a boil and then and then do the fresh water but the best way to prepare this um hibiscus flour is leaving it overnight in a tight container and putting it in the refrigerator for the following day you can make your agua fresca and it's ready to go very simple to prepare so what i have done i have added here two cups of hibiscus flour and added three cups of water what we are going to do is we're going to strain it i have a container here and i'm going to strain it so that we only we only leave behind the hibiscus flour and this is very easy to prepare at home and it's very healthy for you and we know what we are offering our family Okay, we're gonna drain it. And I am going to show you how it looks from close up. So you could see the intense color of the hibiscus flower. I wanna show you how dark the water is. All the flavor and all the color has left the hibiscus. And this is how the end the water is left very bright um, red. And this is ready. We just need to add some sugar and we have our fresh agua fresca. 
as you could see the water is bright 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 red and it's ready to prepare so what I'm going to do is add my pitcher add some hibiscus water and just be careful because We're going to add some of our um, syrup. And we're going to mix. Okay, it needs a little more. Perfect. We are going to add our ice. And our first drink is ready. I can't wait to start with the second option. I'm going to give you a hibiscus and strawberry. I'm gonna put it aside and I'm gonna start with the next step. Okay. For the second, agua fresca with hibiscus and strawberry, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna strain our juice from the hibiscus flour. This is how we do it. So we have all our water here. I am ready, I have my pitcher here. I am ready to add my water. I'm gonna do it this way so I don't make a mess, okay? I'm just gonna add a little bit. I'm going to add my syrup. This is pretty good. And I'm going to whisk and let's taste it. Hmm, needs a little more. Okay, it's ready. I'm gonna put it aside. I have my strawberries here. I'm gonna take the little stem off of all of them and I like to do it this way and when I'm done taking all the stems off I'm gonna wash them and rinse them out very good I'll see you then okay, I'm gonna add my strawberries I'm gonna rinse them very good I have about 15 strawberries here Okay, I'm going to remove them. I have washed and rinsed all my strawberries. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add them here in my blender. And I'm going to add a little bit of the juice, of the hibiscus juice. And I'm going to blend. Okay. When we have blended completely, what we're going to do is we're going to strain it. I have my strainer here. We're going to strain it completely. The reason that I'm straining it so we don't have a lot of seeds in our hibiscus drink. So this is how I do it. Be patient, take your time, okay? We need to take all the seeds of the strawberries out. We do not want it in our, in our drink. Okay, we are done. I'm gonna show you how 
We left our seeds behind. I wanted to show you how we left the seeds behind. This is what we don't want in our fresh water. Okay, I'm ready to show you the next step. Okay. I am ready to add it to my pitcher. Uh-oh. This looks amazing. And it tastes delicious. I can't wait to show you my presentations of my two different but almost the same aguas frescas. My final, my final waters. This is the hibiscus water. This is the hibiscus and strawberry water. And I can't wait to taste it. Let's try the hibiscus water. Delicious and refreshing. And this is the strawberry hibiscus water. completely different flavor but delicious and refreshing if you liked my recipe please don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up share my video on social media so the people get to know cooking with gloria and before i say i see you soon i wish you nothing but the best peace and love bye bye